You know, the conversation today is something I've been hearing talk a lot um, on streamings with my other fellow YouTubers. Some like the movie experience, some don't. I personally like the home experience better. Just more pros and cons, in my opinion. So um, just stick with me for a little while. Let's check out the show, and I'm explaining to you why. Welcome back to my show. If this is your first time checking me out, I want you to do a couple things for me. First, what I want you to do is definitely subscribe to my channel. I want you to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Also, give me a thumbs up. Also, I need you to leave me comments. Those comments are good things for me. Uh, I just want to let you know that today, this is something that's been going on in my mind for a while. I just wanted to, to talk a little about it. Shoot it out to you. Tell me what you think about the situation. It is... Movies, the theater experience versus home theaters. Now, I got a friend of mine, um, Chris Knight, who is a proponent, a champion of home theaters. Also, Anzo, you know, we stream together, do a lot of channels together, shows together. They like the the movie theater experience, and I have nothing nothing against movie theater experience. Um, it is something that um, can enlighten that can um, enhance a movie because of the big picture screen. Also, the sounds, that theater sound is amazing. But what we saw this past year during this pandemic uh, showed us that we can do without it. Um, because there are home theaters. I have been to some people's house, man caves, ladies caves, whatever you want to call them, um, um, TV room, um, media room, Whatever, you, whatever label you want to put on it. And I've seen some fantastic sound systems. Uh, I've seen some fantastic movie theaters. They even got movie theaters now that you can blow up outside inflatable. <coughs> I've also seen those. Not, about, not a bad sound system and not terribly expensive. It's something that you can do in your backyard. You can watch games. You can watch movies, TV shows, whatever tickles your fancy. You can do that. Movie theaters, you only limit to one thing, watching what that particular movie is that you want to see. Not to mention you're going to pay for it. Let's say an average theater now, between $15 and $20, cost to see a movie theater. Now, if you take a date, you go multiply by that time, too. So that's going to be, let's say, the low end, $30 for you and your date. Now, to mention, if she like my wife, she's going to want concessions, popcorn, and a drink. So you can add another $15 on top of that. So right now, you $45 into seeing just one movie. Not mentioned if you want something, you may want to add another 15 to that. So right now you're looking at $60 just for theater, the theater experience. And now when you go into the theater, not every time, but sometimes you're going to run into someone or something like this. I've done it several times and it totally pisses me off. Now, you know we all have had that experience before in the movie theater, and it ain't worth a damn. It makes you mad. you like, I paid good money to see this. I can't even hear what's going on the screen because there's some idiot that don't have proper proper movie etiquette is talking and ruining the experience. One strike against movie theater experience. Um, Another strike is you know that sometimes you go there with an anticipation of seeing something that's good, but guess what? What happens? You gotta take a tinkle. You gotta use the bathroom. So let's just say use the bathroom. Some bath depend on what theater you are. Some bathrooms are close to the um particular movie theater you're in, 
a room you're in, some are going to go way down the hall. So let's just say on average three to five minutes, you're going to miss that movie because you're going to use the bathroom because nature calls. Another strike against the movie experience. Another situation is a lot of us, not all of us, but some of us are in this category where we have children. Now, you and your wife, you and your girlfriend, her children, your children, whatever the case may be, we already established it's going to be roughly 60 bucks just for the two of y'all if you go for the cost of admission, for uh, your concession, her concession. Now, add kids into the mix. Two kids, you're going to add more to it. Let's just say half of 15 seven fifty. if you take a matinee, or $10. On top of that 60, that's another, if you got two kids, that's another $20. So that's $80 you're looking at right now. If they get concessions, you might as well go ahead and talk up another 20. So take you, your girlfriend, you, your wife, you, two kids, you're going to bust $100. You're going to destroy a C note in one sitting for that fantastic movie experience. So to me, it only makes sense only makes sense that you got to go to the home theater home theater let's say you pay your monthly subscription let's say it's 60 bucks 60 bucks no let's let's, let's go on the low end. i'm going to low end this let's say it's 30 bucks you get to watch 30 bucks a month um so 30 times 10 is 300 uh, another 30 so 360 bucks a year to watch the theater I mean, to watch a movie at your home. You get a nice 60, 70 inch screen TV, surround sound, recliner that you like, the remote control that controls it. So if you have to go to the bathroom, guess what you can do? You can go ahead and hit that pause button. Bleep. Go to the bathroom, do your business, come back, get yourself situated, hit restart button. You ain't miss a beat. Now, for those concessions, guess what? You got something at your home called a kitchen. And guess what? You're not limited to candy, popcorn, peanuts, hot dogs, and so you you limit to whatever your mind can imagine, whatever you bought in there to cook. You can have fajitas, you can have fish, you can have chicken, crab legs, anything your heart desires, you can have sitting in your home, eating at your leisure. If you decide to go up and get a refill, guess what? You ain't got to pay no extra $2 for a refill. You go right into the refrigerator, right to the sink, and fill it up. Mm, that sounds amazing to me. And guess what? If you do have that knucklehead in your house that likes to talk... If you're the dad or the mom, you can tell your child to shut the hell up. I'm trying to watch this. You can't do that at a theater without causing somebody some kind of situation that the cops would be called in. So to me, home theater is a must. It's a no-brainer. Why would anybody want to go through those three things I just told you? It, movies are now expanding to three-hour movies. Some of us can't uh, not go to the bathroom in three hours. Uh, I know in Endgame, I took a went to the bathroom one time, but I had to pick and choose. I went to the time when Captain America and Tony Stark went back in, went back in time, and Tony met his dad, and uh, and Cap met Peggy Carter, was looking out through the window. I missed that the first time. When I went the second time, that I made sure I took my bathroom break before or after that scene because I want to see it firsthand. So guess what? These movies, Zack Snyder cut, four hours long. Who going to sit there in the theater for four hours without taking a break, some kind of break? So home theater, get your home theater nice, like I said, nice 60, 70 inch, whatever, however much your pocket can stand, inch TV, nice recliners, kitchen stop. Some theaters don't sell beer. You can, have, you can be sitting down watching beer, Drinking a nice mochajito, whatever 
drink tickles your fancy. You can do all that. Crown and Coke, Hennessy. Hmm. I don't know if you can have Hennessy at the theater, Anzo. But you can have Hennessy at your house. Hmm. I don't know if you can have um. What's Chris? Vanilla. What does he like to drink? Um. Ciroc. Don't think you have vanilla Ciroc at the theater, Chris Knight. But well, I think you can have vanilla Ciroc at your house, home theater. Hmm. Just saying. But uh. Anyway. In the words of uh, Doctor Who, someone I never watched, but I had to make sure I get this clip. This is what he says about, about things and, and time. But times change, and so must I. That's right. Times change, and so must we all. At one time, there was drive-ins all across the country but they went out they went away didn't it there's only a few left this pandemic sped up the life expectancy of movie theaters and i'm cool with it i am cool with it because convenience beats out experience in my opinion nine times out of ten if something is convenient or the experience of it most people want to pick the convenience that's where we live in now. I'm sorry. Say it. This is not, it's not the, not, it's not an exact science or an exact every time somebody's going to pick convenience over um, the, an experience. But I think most of the time people are going to pick something that's convenient or actually experiencing something. So tell me what you think. Comments below. I'm definitely interested in hearing what Chris Knight. And also thank. And uh to the rest of you all, I hope that this makes you think, makes you say, hmm, they ain't got a good point. Never thought of it that way. That is my intent. That is what I do. I want you to think about things like you never thought about them before. And if I can start that, that's even better. So until next time, take it easy. Peace. <laughs>